Welcome back to Children's Church this week, boys and girls. I hope you had a great week. Today, we're going to be thinking about one of Jesus' special friends. His name at first was Simon, and then Jesus changed his name to Peter. He was a fisherman when he first met Jesus, but then Jesus called him to a special job, and that was to learn all about God so that when Jesus went back to heaven, he could continue that work on earth. But before I say any more about Peter, let's sing our first song. How great is our God and that's exactly what Peter found out when he started hanging around with Jesus. Let's say our opening prayer. For this day and all you give us, we thank you God. For all the fun, friendship and learning we do together, we thank you God. For all the times we have let you, ourselves or others down, we are sorry. Be with us as we gather in your name. Be with us Lord. Amen. I've got two Bible readings today and they're going to be told to us by the Saddleback Kids and they're both about St Peter. The first one is about how he first met Jesus and started hanging around with him and um, then the other one is about when he had to ask Jesus to forgive him. Let's listen to the first one. Stories of the Bible. Jesus calls Peter. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus grew up in Nazareth hey, Jesus. and was baptized by John in the Jordan River. Jesus began teaching about God's love and healing people of their sickness. One day, John saw Jesus walking by and told the people around him that Jesus was the Lamb of God. One of the people standing with him was Andrew. 
whose brother was Simon, who would later be known as Peter. Andrew went to find his brother and said, we have found the Christ. Whoa, really? Come on. Simon went with Andrew and met Jesus. Uh-huh, I'm Simon. Jesus looked at Simon and said, your name is Simon, son of John. Yes, it is. But you will be called Peter. Uh, okay. On another day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, and lots of people crowded around him to hear what he had to say. Oh, uh, uh hello. Well, oh, okay. Jesus noticed two empty boats for Andrew and Peter had left them and were washing their nets. Jesus stepped into one of the boats hey, Peter. and asked Peter to take him out into the sea. Aye, aye. So he sat in the boat and taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Peter, now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Uh... But Peter said, we worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. And this time their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. Whoa! They called to some other fishermen for help. Hey, help! And soon both boats were filled with fish. When Peter realized what happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave me. I'm such a sinful man. Jesus replied to Peter, Don't be afraid. Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. Really? Really? And as soon as they landed, they left their nets and followed Jesus. So Simon Peter became one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed his friend Jesus throughout his time on earth. Boys and girls, wasn't Peter blessed to be asked by Jesus to be his friends, to learn more about God, so that when Jesus returned to God in heaven, Peter could keep on telling others about God's love for them. You know, boys and girls, God still asks us to be his friend and to share the good news of God's love with other people, our friends and our families, just like Peter did. The next story tells us how Jesus forgave Peter for saying that he didn't even know him. Fancy hanging around with Jesus for three years and then saying that he didn't even know him. Let's li listen to what the story says. The Miracle of Mercy, Peter. This is Peter. Hey Whoop. Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What are you talking? But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me, Peter. Before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh -oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter. This very night, before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I Later on that night, 
Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus, and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. But Jesus healed the guard and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <clears throat> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Uh -huh. Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma. But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Oh. Peter for a second time said, no, I'm not. Uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, Didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. <laughs> Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind, and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, It's Jesus! When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mmm, -hmm, I miss a fish. Got it! Jesus said, Come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, Yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, Then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, Do you love me? Peter said again, Yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, Then take care of my sheep. And then a third time Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked a question a third time, so he said, You know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, Then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven and many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. You know, I think if Peter can do the wrong thing sometimes, then we can too. But the story just heard, we just heard reminds us that we can be forgiven when we do the wrong things. Hopefully, we will learn from our mistakes too and always try better next time once again, just like Peter did. Let's say our prayers. Lord Jesus, help us remember that you love each one of us. Help us learn from our mistakes, just like your friend Peter did. Thank you that you love us and believe in us. We ask that you would keep us safe during the holidays. Watch over us, Lord. 
Help us show thanks to the people in our lives who work to prepare the many things we need. May they receive your many blessings. Help us to remember always that we are with, that you are with us at all times and we can trust you. Let us praise your name always. Amen. Now let's say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now sending out, Christ is risen. His light spreads over all the earth. He has forgiven every one of our sins and shown us the way to God. Go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. Amen. And let's sing our final song, Praise the Lord Every Day. singing it remember you can replay these so that um, you get to know them better anyway have a great week keep safe keep happy keep well see you next time bye